So, hey everybody, it's Brian. Just wanted to go through our next example of doing a long shore, short, sorry, it's basically a hedge. Long call, short put combination, establishing a purchase price range. Uh, I've tried this in the other CME document, uh, and uh, this is explained much better, and I finally somewhat have it. Okay, so with this document, um, essentially just trying to find a, a minimum of a short call combination, minimum and a maximum. Um, I'm going to let you go through all this documentation here, but what happens is we have an initial uh, set of conditions and then we have three different scenarios. So it gets kind of confusing in fact because let's say we have a future price of 130 premium on a call option is 315 a put option premium is a dollar 35 and local buy, uh, basis is five bucks so with our first scenario we have a future cattle uh, at 120 basis 125 cash price now let's assume that we keep the basis the same this is where it gets confusing. So we're dealing with a 130 call option and a 124 put, op put option. So the difference is where we have a call value of zero and put value of $4. Now we need to calculate their different results. Long call, result, short put, and a net option. So here's the, uh, all of those. And I'll show you the, how, how this is mathematically calculated in my code. And then of course you get a different data price, purchase price, the cash price, plus or minus the uh, gain loss. Second scenario is we've got 130 futures, basis five bucks, new cash price at 135. Uh, everything pretty well evens out. Uh, it's set at zero, call value is zero, put value is zero. Um, the long call 315, short put at 135, net result 180, and then we get a new cash or purchase price at 136. Last one with a future price of 140, 145 the cash price, the um, call value becomes 10 bucks. And I'll show you how that we calculate that again in a minute. Long call, and that was the confusing part. Long call, 685, short put, 135, net result, 820. And the purchase price equals these two, cash, uh, the, the cash price plus the long call result. So let me just try to show you what and how I figured it may be. Okay, in the code, we've set up our market conditions. Uh, future call option premium. Put option at 135 and the basis at five. Um, so I've set up some arrays for the three scenarios for both the futures cash and the purchase price. First scenario is the future price is set at zero dollar twenty future. Cash price is the, the futures price plus the basis. The call option vol value is zero. Uh, expired worthless. Um, put option values a dollar at one twenty four. And here we have a result. So we're looking for the long call, short put, and the net option. Now again, this is the first contract or the first scenario. Um, and uh, you can see it right here. I'll get to that in a minute. So we have our put option at 124. Now, where am I getting those numbers for? Right here. Yeah, 130 call, 124 put. So in this case, this is our put, 124 minus the futures price. We split it. Then we have a call option premium because we have a loss. So we use the uh, max premium on the call, short. Put is the difference between the put option value minus the put option premium. 
that option is equal to the long call plus the short put. Uh, one thing I need to highlight here is everything's backwards. If you see this is a loss, uh, that's going to be a positive. If this is a uh, this particular one might be a gain, that's a negative, or that's how it show up in uh, the code. So the last second last calculation is the purchase price, cash. Uh, plus the net option equals the purchase price, the new purchase price. So I'm just running it now. You see here, uh, okay, here's our first future right there. 120, $5 plus the cash price at 125. Now the call value is at zero dollars or zero. The put value is at four. Uh, the put value is one twenty four uh, minus long call. Uh, let me just make sure I'm getting my. So we're doing this right here. So the put value. The put value is right here. Uh, the short put is the option, put option value minus the option premium. So I believe it's 124 minus. Uh, somewhere in there um, okay moving on the uh, put option so where are we working here I think we're on here so yeah so our put value was at four dollars uh, right here so now uh, to calculate the long, short, and the net option, these are the um, results. This right here, calculating. Um, so we have to use the premium, the call option premium. So we get a short put out the put option value minus the put option value and of course the net option is the difference between the two and then we have the results uh, uh, yeah. so we just print out the results then we have a purchase price of cash uh, plus the um, net option all right second scenario uh, Pretty well the same. The only difference is that the call value and the put option are, are uh, at zero, which takes us to uh, right here the call value. Where's the call value? Right here. Everything else stays. The same, I believe. And then, of course, we have the third scenario where our futures price is at 140, call value at 10 bucks, which is 140 minus the 130. And the put value is uh, expired worthless, zero. So our results for the last uh, example, number three, uh, where's our results? Okay, here's our results. So we have a call option value minus the call option premium. And the short is equal to the uh, put option premium because it expired, worthless. 
net option, the difference between the long call and the put and the short put, and of course our uh, purchase price. It's basically the difference between our cash price and the net option. So you just run it just to convince you everything's pretty cool. Okay, so if we looked at the futures price of 140 for the third example, uh, the cash price of 145, correct? Uh, call value at 10, put value at zero. Um, the results long at 685, put at 135, net option at 820, and then the purchase is at 136.80. Voila! So there you go. Hopefully, I'll help you out. Pretty, pretty lengthy, but you can see why I failed the first attempt in the previous PDF, but hopefully. This somewhat makes it a little um, easier to actually get working, at least the mechanical part.